basically, whenever I look at somebody in posture, what I'm looking for, I look at them from front, side, and back always. And I look at, I, I prefer, it's my preference to look at feet, knees, hips, and then upper trunk. And usually when I'm looking, and then I want to back up and look at the whole picture. Right. So I, I do take a moment, look at the whole picture, and then I zone in on feet. I look at, are they flat? Are they not flat? Are they supinated? Are they feet turned in or turned out or parallel? And then I'm looking to see if the knees line up over the feet properly, or if the knees are turned out or turned in versus where the feet are. And then I'm looking at the hips to see. I, I often look to see if they're standing on one leg, weighted on one leg or weighted on the other leg when I'm looking right from the front. And then I'll look up at the torso and see is there a side, I look at the arm windows a lot when I look at the torso to see if there's a side bend to one side or the other. And then I look at the shoulders. There's usually people have uneven shoulder slants, some people more than others. And remember that on the shoulders, if they're right side, if they're right handed, the right shoulder is usually a little lower. If they're left-handed, the left shoulder is usually a little bit lower. It's the way that the muscles develop with the handedness. And the more handed they are, the more defined that would be. So somebody like myself, if I back up here for a second, I don't have a lot of different slope on each side, but I'm not very handed. I use my right and left hands a lot, um, e pretty equally. So there shouldn't be a big muscular difference, but there are people who use one side a lot more than the other. And they're gonna, you're gonna see that handed side sloping down a lot more. So that's something to keep in mind. And then when I look at side view, I'm looking at that plumb line. Remember, so ear over shoulder, over hip, over knee, over ankle. So you're looking to see where they line up. I'm also looking to see where their weight is. Is it on their heels, on their toes? Um, I'm looking to see if their belly's out and pelvis tilted anterior with their butts tucked and their posterior. Um, I'm looking to see where the, what the curves, spinal curves look like. Are they flat? Do they look pretty normal? Does the cervical curve match the lumbar curve to some extent, or is the head sheared forward and the shoulders rounded forward? Those, those are really easy things to see from the side view. And then from the back view, I'm looking at then from the back, I'm seeing the same things I saw from the front, only now I can really see the Achilles tendons to see if they're curved one way or the other, because that will give me a lot of information about where they are on their calcaneus as far as flat or supinated. Um, I'm looking at if their knees are knocking in or bow-legged a lot in the back. I'm looking again at the creases, the behind the knees, behind the butt, the butt crease, and then the pelvis height-wise. And then um, you can see if their spine has a curve to it, a scoliotic curve, usually from the back. Um, and then you can see if their head has a tilt or not a lot from the back. So those are the three views that I usually look at. I write down what I see and I actually ponder it later a lot of times. So I'm just writing, looking, writing, and I'm thinking and my wheels are turning. And then if I see something, sometimes I'll see something there and it won't turn on the light bulb till I see them moving. So that's why I say sometimes it's good to just watch them walk, even if you're not going to write down everything you see, but just to get an idea, how does this person move in space? You're going to know when it's not something that is normal, right? You're going to see an abnormal. Um, so just look for something that doesn't look right. Write down, doesn't look right. Looks like hips sway too much to the sides. Looks like she's dragging one leg. Looks like she's bent over, you know, whatever it is. And, and that will just be information that we can share.